Hey guys, welcome to another Bucket Plugin tutorial and today it's on Hub. So this is a really awesome plugin, um, similar to Hub Essentials where it gives you more items um, which you get when you spawn in. And there is some very, very awesome things and it works really, really well. So I would definitely recommend this plugin. So first of all, we're going to want to set the Hub spawn. Yes, we are. So if you do set Hub, that sets the spawn. And um, while we're at it, we will have a look at the items we have in our inventory. So first of all, we have the enable stacking. So if you've been on Mineplex, you know that you can jump on people's backs uh, if you've got it enabled, and if not, uh, people can't do that. So that, that's nice. Uh, then we move on to the trails, and as you can see, I've got one behind me. Um, you can uh, change them uh, depending on which ones you want. Um, that one's quite annoying, but my favorite is the rainbow one. That looks very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, fire, on fire. So then we move on to pets, and this is really cool because you don't need Echo Pet or another plugin. You just uh, click the pet you want, such as a wolf, and it spawns in. It says LT Jim's pet, um, and I presume you can give permissions to use these. So that's really cool. And you can just delete the pet and delete the trail. So yeah, just however you want. And then we move on to the magic clock, which I presume everyone knows what this does. Uh, it just makes everyone else invisible or visible depending on how many people are there and whether you're lagging or not. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and finally, hub gadgets. So you got the um, the bat gun, fires bats. Uh, you have the paint gun, which fires paint at the floor. And this is only temporary, so people can't grief with it. It disappears after a few seconds, so that's very, very cool. You have particle gun, which fires an enderpearl. And that explodes into particles. And the magic bomb which is a bit strange, but uh, spawns a uh, villager and then particles, so yeah. If you do forward slash S hub, uh, you can see all of the commands. So here they are, and you can edit these. So um, for example, double jump uh, like this, uh, you can change that by doing S hub, double jump, and then specifying a power such as eight. Now eight pretty strong, so I'll probably hit the clouds. Uh, there I go. So that's really, really cool, and you can just change that um, how you want. So four, a mm, bit strong, three, that's slightly better. It also comes with pressure pads, which um, are very, very nice. So you can actually do S-Hub uh, launch pad and specify a power, like 10. So I will go flying as it's set to 10. But that's really, really cool. Uh, so yeah. Then you can do S Hub 2 to get onto the second page. Um, you can also, by command or via the configs, set it to um, day only and sun only. So that's really awesome. I mean, you wouldn't want rain and night time on a hub unless you were doing some sort of um, special server. But yeah, and you can also disable um, hunger, PvP, so it's so it's very good. It has a lot of things. So you can disable these if you find them annoying or something. So it's a very, very cool plugin. Um, very simple to edit in the config. You just change true to false or change the um, number to something else. And you can also change the text if you want to personalize it for a server. And with that, um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So thanks for watching. Down the link below, and I will see you tomorrow. Probably.